There could be an infinite number of Graham Phillips. There could be an infinite number of me. There could be a universe in which I'm interviewing you. So, Peter, to what do I owe the pleasure? I'm sorry to bother you, sir. Please, we saved half the universe together. I think we're beyond you calling me, sir. Okay, Stephen. That feels weird, but I'll allow it. When Mysterio revealed my identity, my entire life got screwed up. I was wondering if maybe you could make it so that he never did. Strange. Don't cast that spell. It's too dangerous. Fine. I won't. The entire world is about to forget that Peter Parker is Spider-Man. Wait, everyone? Can't some people still know? That's not how the spell works. So MJ's gonna forget about everything we've ever been through? Stop tampering with the spell. Oh my God, Ned, he's my best friend. Oh, my Aunt May should really know. Stop talking. <laughs> what just happened? We tampered with the stability of space-time. The multiverse is a concept about which we know frighteningly little. problem is you trying to live two different lives. The longer you do it, the more dangerous it becomes. <laughs> Be careful what you wish for, Parker. Hello, Peter. And while we're talking about the multiverse, we saw earlier that Big Bang believers try to explain away many of their problems with this idea. But a multiverse has implications that are just silly. For example, in a multiverse, there's an infinite number of planets out there with alien life, including an infinite number of planets full of dinosaurs which didn't go extinct like they did on Earth, but continued to evolve instead. Well, what would that imply? I was expecting a giant call. Come here! We're giving you freedom! Defend my family. Or die. Autobots, we're going to prove who we are and why we're here. One secular scientist, who wasn't writing about the multiverse specifically, still touched on this idea when he warned such life forms could well be advanced versions of dinosaurs. We would be better off not meeting them. Yes, we would be better off not meeting them, because there's nothing worse than meeting up with a dinosaur that has better weapons than you do.
And if the multiverse is real, then there are an infinite number of universes out there where humans are fighting advanced dinosaurs right at this very moment. But is this science? Look out! There comes another one! I've got him! Or just science fiction. Krauss puts it starkly. Once you get to infinity, all sorts of weird things happen. Because if, if there are an infinite number of universes over an infinite amount of time, then it means that there are an infinite number of universes that seem like ours. And in fact, there are some universes in which I'm sitting there asking you the questions, and you're sitting there asking me the questions. So they're almost the same, but there are other universes that are precisely the same, where everything that happens to us now is repeated an infinite number of times. There are also universes where you and I and everything we see pop into existence by the laws of quantum mechanics one second ago. Uh, you know, if that's true, what does it mean for identity or free will and justice? And, you know, again, this is getting a little bit out of the science, but these are things that as people, we hold very strongly to the idea that I'm, I'm, I have an identity that I have a capacity to choose and that just is important. These things are important to us, but in a multiverse, they have no real meaning to them, or, or it's very ambiguous what they mean if they have any meaning at all. And, again, and I think it also impacts even 
what does it mean to do science? Because very often when we're doing science, we're not saying this is the only possible outcome. Really what we're saying is that this is the best explanation or the most likely explanation. Well, again, in a multiverse, if we're using the multiverse to explain how all this information got in DNA and how life arose and all of that, well, then the unusual, unlikely, rare things are happening all the time. And so... Uh, and of course, in one of those universes, uh, um, you know, Richard Dawkins is the Pope and uh, you know, Sam well, Harris... Well, it, it does have to be possible, you know? I mean, it does have to be possible. So. Yes, I mean, Richard Dawkins is the Pope and Sam Harris is, is a mega church pastor in some big church in, in America. So what are we doing when we're doing science if everything happens? Some have said, well, we can talk about things in terms of probabilities, but the reality of it is in a multiverse, everything happens an infinite number of times. And so it really is unclear that we have any role for science uh, if we're going to use the multiverse to solve the design that we see in the universe. If you choose not to believe it, that's perfectly fine because we have not given you any evidence yet. And one of the wonderful things about science is it's about evidence, it's not about belief.